once upon a time, in the sleepy town of Broombridge, a young boy named Finn was known for his extraordinary talent. Finn had a gift, a gift of creating vibrant and breathtaking paintings. Every stroke he laid upon a canvas would instantly turn into a remarkable piece of art. One day, on his way back home from the local school, Finn saw a peculiar-looking paintbrush lying near the old willow tree in the village square. It was unlike any brush he had ever seen. The bristles shimmered with a thousand colors, and the handle glowed as if lit by the last rays of a setting sun. Feeling drawn to it, Finn picked it up and carried it home. Back in his attic room, Finn couldn't help but try out this enchanting new tool. Taking a deep breath, he dipped the brush into the bright red paint and traced a plump apple on his canvas. As the last stroke connected with the first, something extraordinary happened. The canvas shimmered, and suddenly, there was a real, perfectly ripe apple sitting on his easel. Eyes wide with astonishment, Finn looked from the apple to the magic paintbrush. An idea started forming in his mind. Could it be that this paintbrush could bring his drawings to life? Days turned into weeks, and Finn's talent now had a magical enhancement. He painted toys for his little sister, Daisy, who could never have enough dolls. He created lovely flowers for his mother, who was fond of gardening but rarely had the time. He even painted a delicious cake for his father's birthday, much to everyone's delight. News of his magic brush quickly spread through Broombridge, and soon people started coming to him with requests. A frail old man, Mr. Bennett, who had lost his beloved dog years ago, came to Finn with a photograph. With tears in his eyes, he asked if Finn could paint him back to life. Finn hesitated, having never painted a living being before. However, seeing the old man's hope-filled eyes, Finn couldn't say no. With a trembling hand, Finn began painting. He carefully filled in the dog's fluffy brown coat, its sparkling eyes, and its wagging tail. As he drew the last stroke, a magical shimmer came over the canvas, and a small, excited dog sprang out, licking Finn's face and then rushing over to Mr. Bennett. The old man wept with joy as he hugged his lost friend. The miracle of the magic paintbrush had given him the greatest gift. Finn's life was full of wonder, but the sudden fame came with its pitfalls. Word of his extraordinary talent reached the greedy Baron von Trapp, who lived in a grand castle overlooking Broombridge. Intrigued by the potential of this magic paintbrush, the Baron hatched a devious plan. One stormy night, the Baron sent his henchmen to snatch the magic paintbrush from Finn's home. Finn was devastated. He felt a deep sense of loss, not for the fame the brush brought him, but for the joy and hope it could give others. However, Finn was not one to lose heart. He knew he had to get the magic paintbrush back, but how? Then an idea popped into his mind. He picked up an ordinary brush and started painting a portrait of himself holding the magic paintbrush. The next day, when the Baron tried to use the magic brush, he was startled to see another Finn appearing from the canvas, holding the magic brush. The confused Baron tried to seize the brush, but to no avail. As it turned out, whatever was painted by the magic brush couldn't be controlled by anyone but Finn. Seeing his plan foiled, the Baron grudgingly returned the magic paintbrush. Finn promised to keep the brush safe and use its powers responsibly. From that day forward, he painted only for those in need, bringing joy and wonder to the little town of Broombridge. So, my dear, remember that real magic lies in kindness, courage, and using our gifts to help others. Good night, sleep tight, and let your dreams be as colorful and magical as Finn's enchanted paintings.